Hey everyone, Dan here with Hardly Brief Tutorials. In this video, we're going to take another look at the leveling controller that we created several uh, several videos ago. We're going to create a scriptable object and add some advanced controls for the system. We're going to utilize the animation curve so we can visually define how our character or objects gain experience. Uh, and then again, this leveling controller can be used for all sorts of games and projects. It's not just for RPGs, it can be for anything that you can think of. Uh, if you haven't watched my first video, I would highly recommend checking it out, and I'll go ahead and link it in the video now. Uh, the first video goes over the basics the basics of the controller and basically how to get it set up. You don't need a scriptable object or any model behaviors for it. You can slap it on an object and be, and be done with it. Um, and after all the feedback and comments I got about my light mode for Discord, uh, I've gone ahead and switched it to dark mode, and you can see it now on screen. Uh, hopefully that <laughs> bothers a lot less people, uh, but please join the Discord community. We have quite a few people in there now discussing game development, they're posting their projects, and we're just chatting. It's definitely a good place to ask questions, get some help, and just show off your work if you want. Uh, plus, it's one of the quickest ways to get a hold of me. Also, uh, you can check me out on Twitter as I post uh, frequently there. I put uh, channel and life updates there, and you can also feel free to ask me questions. Uh, but anyways, all the links will be down in the description below for that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Uh, and if you hit the notification icon, you can be notified when I do release a new video. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm in the original leveling controller tutorial project. And all I've done is I've connected the new code um, with using scriptable objects to the existing framework. So it's pretty simple. You're not going to have to change too much if you follow along in that video. Again, uh, I linked it earlier. Definitely give it a watch if you haven't. Uh, but basically, what I can do here is the on the screen now is I have a level, the current level I am, which is level one. I have zero out of the 200 experience points required for me to level up. So when I click add XP, it's going to add 100 XP, which it shows here. I'm going to add XP again. We hit 200. We've leveled up to level two. Uh, and now we require 300 points. If I hit level up again, we now level three and uh, we require 500 experience points. So what we did in the original videos, we actually wrote a uh, abstract class that allows us to define several different algorithms that we want uh, to calculate our experience points. So if you actually want to write out the, uh, the formula, that's the way to do it. However, that can be difficult for some of us like me, maybe, or maybe you're not great at math. Uh, you don't want to go mess around on Wolfram Alpha. So what we're doing in this video is we're going to create a scriptable object like this one down below called curve algo. Uh, and we're going to be able to define a specific experience curve and define the shape of it. And then we're going to read the value off of it and we're going to apply it to our required experience points based on our character's level or object, whatever it is. So here I've defined one. It's very linear up to about 70%. Once we get 70% of our maximum level, so in my case it's 100 then we're going to kind of ramp up the required XP to get to the maximum level. Now, uh, again, if you don't like this shape, all you have to do is you can click one of these down below, double click on the curve, and you can actually add your own control, your own key, and you can manipulate the curve uh, to whatever you see fit, right? Uh, it's really up to you. And then if you want to add this, let's say you really like this curve that you created, you can click this uh, gear icon and then click new, and it's going to save it. So you can use this experience curve in all your projects, which is really cool. Uh, the other scriptable object I have in here is our uh, player controller, or it's a leveling controller scriptable object, which takes in a maximum level, uh, and then it takes the experience algorithm scriptable object. In this case, we're using that animation curve. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code because that's what the most important part is, right? So I'm going to open up my leveling controller. Uh, and let's open up the original one because I just want to show you it's a basic, basically the exact same thing. I've just converted it to a scriptable object. So this is the code that we wrote in the original video. It's a level controller. We created a new one and applied it to our player. Uh, it uses an experience algorithm. That's where it defines how you calculate the experience points, right? You don't want it. You want to be able to use this on different things and different things require different algorithms. So we want to keep that same concept, right? So this is what we came up with. So what I've done now, I'm going to go to this new script called leveling controller SO, which stands for scriptable object. It, in the original controller, it doesn't, doesn't inherit anything, but now we're going to inherit scriptable object, which is a unity, uh, class. And it has a lot of functionality similar to mono behavior, but a little bit different. It's an asset that's saved in the project. You can access it 
at any time, and it saves during runtime, which is pretty cool. Uh, but basically, what we're doing here at the top, we're going to create an asset menu. Uh, we're going to when we create a new asset. So when we go up to asset new create, uh, it's going to be default. This one's going to be called. Uh, actually, we want to change this. We're going to call it level controller. Uh, and then you can change it, and I'll show you this once we're back in Unity. Uh, and then the menu name will be leveling, and then a sub menu uh, will be called controller. So this is you'll click the, that in the menu to actually create this object. Uh, but the only difference is here. Again, we're going to inherit from scriptable object. We have a private integer maximum level. I've set it as a serialized field so we can actually manipulate it in the editor. I put a minimum value on it as negative one because if you remember, negative one means that we have infinite levels. We can keep leveling up. Um, and then lastly, we have our experience algorithm, which is a experience algorithm SO, which is uh, the new class scriptable object that we're going to take a look at as well. I've set that as a serialized field so I can set it in the inspector. Uh, and then it's just underscore experience algorithm. And all this code is the same. Uh, I didn't change a single thing. So um, it's all expandable. Again, everything's protected. You can expand this class if you want. You can customize the controller even more. Uh, but basically, it just converts it to a scriptable object. So now I'm going to go to the experience algorithm. Uh, we're going to go to the definition of it. And this is the abstract class called experience algorithm SO. It inherits from scriptable object. Uh, and it has an abstract method called return goal experience points. So basically what this is telling me or you, the user, the, the designer, is you cannot create a scriptable object of this base type. You have to create a expanded functionality of it, uh, which is what we're going to go look at in the animation experience algorithm. So here is the animation experience algorithm scriptable object, SO. It, it inherits from the experience algorithm scriptable object. All right, this is this class, um, which basically tells us we're required to implement the return goal experience points uh, method, uh, which I do here. So in order for the experience animation curve to work, we need to have a public reference for it. We need to be able to have the uh, to, to create it. And that's what I do here. So I say public animation curve level curve. This allows it to show the inspector. Um, <clears throat> and then to return the goal experience, we use the curves function uh, method called evaluate and we pass in our current level. In this case, I'm dividing by 10. We would probably want to divide by your maximum level. So 100 in this case. Um, I'm going to leave it at 10, but this is, this is using these, these values here, you can manipulate it. So basically, uh, the, your maximum level will be this value. You can multiply it by how, however much you want. Uh, and then I just cast it to, or I round it to an integer and then I multiply by a hundred. So I have basically, uh, 200, 300, I have these even, uh, values. They're like a lot easier to read, uh, right? Because if I looked at this specific point on the curve, it actually might be point zero two three five nine twelve, you know, one, two. And I don't want that value, right? I want a 200 or 300. So here I'm just doing some math to round it up, but you can customize this. Uh, but <clears throat> the real important method here is the evaluate, which is a built in method uh, for animation curve where it just finds the point on the curve. Uh, so once you have those three scripts, your base, you're done. That's all you have to do. Uh, which is really cool. So I'm going to minimize this and go back into Unity. And we're actually going to go ahead. I'm going to delete these two I have here. And we're just going to create them from scratch. So I can kind of show you how that works. So I'm here. I'm deleting the scriptable objects. Again, I have the three scripts that I wrote. And by the way, these are will be on the Discord. So if you join the Discord channel, uh, you can get these scripts and download them for free. Uh, but what I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to go to Create. And you're going to see at the top, we have a menu item called Leveling. And under leveling, I have algos, algos, it stands for algorithms, and then controller. So the first thing we're going to do is create a algorithm. I'm going to click curve. It's going to create an object down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to say player uh, XP curve, EXP curve. And I'm going to, you see in the inspector here on that scriptable object, we have the level curve. I can click it. I'm going to click one of the curves I have. So here's that curve I saved, which is very linear up to about 70% and then gets more exponential uh, for the last 30%. There's our curve up there. Now we need a controller that can use that curve. So I'm going to right click, go to create leveling, uh, and I'm going to click controller. 
Then I'm going to name it. So we're going to say player level controller. And we're getting an error right now. We're getting an exception, a null reference exception, because the uh, player level controller is looking for this experience algorithm. So we know we need to add it. So I'm going to click this button over here. We see the pl player EXP curve. Uh, I'm going to set a max level as 100 and we're done. Now we have this, uh, the null reference exceptions gone. And now we can actually attach this player level controller to our player or make a reference to it. So in the original video, uh, I have a script there called tutorial where I had a level controller called LC, where we created a new level controller. We added, uh, we subscribed to its events and then we tied it all to the UI. So what I did instead is I now have a public reference to a level and controller scriptable object, which is uh, the scriptable object that we just created. And I called it level and controller. And then I just went back in and changed lc.levelup to level and controller.levelup again, because it has all the same methods and functionality. I didn't change anything really besides changing its name and inheriting it uh, from a scriptable object. So once you set this up, it's all tied together. We can go to our player and see here it says level and controller. We need to add it. So I can click the button here. We see player level controller and we're tied into leveling. I can press play. And if everything's tied together, we can let the notification go away. We're level one right now. I can add XP, add XP, level two, level up. Everything's working properly. Uh, and that's the way we want it. So pretty simple. Hopefully you guys understand that. Leave some comments down below if you don't. Uh, again, the scripts will be available to download from the Discord if you join. Um, and like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.